हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज अ मैसेज फॉर दोज स्टूडेंट हु आर गोइंग टू राइट नीट पी जी एंड एफ एम जी एग्जाम दिस टाइम दिस इज अबाउट हाउ टू मेंटेन कामनेस ड्यूरिंग एग्जाम टाइम विच इज अ वन ऑफ द टफेस्ट जॉब सी अगेन आई विल रिपीट दिस इज अ मैटर ऑफ ट्रेनिंग योर ब्रेन सो यू यू स्टार्ट ट्रेनिंग योर ब्रेन फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ दैट वॉट विल हैपन ऑन द डे ऑफ एग्जाम what will happen during the exam what can be the worst scenario and how i am going to combat and what is the logic behind that so these are some important point which you have to make a plan and you have to prepare your mind in that manner now i will give you one example which will be helping you for example if you are going to any exam so obviously you have to expect there will be tough question which will be from uh, you know which will be beyond the a syllabus right which may be appearing very tough to you during exam time so what i want to say that in any exam any exam however question they are, they are giving you but remember there will be 10% 5% question which will be tough it is the toughest paper 10% will be tough otherwise in uh, on an average when they are giving a any question paper 5% question are supposed to be tough suppose you are having 200 question in your neat pg exam so assume that there will be 5% tough question means 10 question will be tough out of these 200 question right and how much will be the merit merit will be decided on 70 to 80% means 160 question or 170 question so first of all you have to understand it will be useless to worry about those tougher questions or controversial question which you are not able to understand during exam time when you will go with this mindset probably you will not be affected by seeing some of the tough question in your exam number 1 number two what i want to say that when you are attempting your question during exam time sometime what happens some of the candidates they will be facing all the tough question in the beginning right so whenever you are facing all the tough question in the beginning then also your mind should be knowing that there will be 10 10 5 to 10% question will be tough and you have to ignore them if you are knowing it it's okay you are knowing it means that's very good thing but if you are not knowing you should not get panic during exam time and spoil the entire questions because you are going to spoil the entire game and if it is a tough question for you that definitely it will be tough for other people also you are not from the junkyard you are all bright students right if it is tough if it is tough for you means majority of the people will be facing that it is a tough question only so that is why you have to be confident about yourself ignore about this toughness don't uh, uh, you know don't allow any panic attack or anxiety to come into your mind and negativity that will spoil your entire question paper or entire exam so that is what i wanted to say that have a hope and have faith during exam time stay calm and wait for the next question and keep moving on don't stuck up to one question suppose some question you got confused don't stuck up into that question because that will also spoil your time and after some time you will start feeling that i have spoiled my time so i should attempt and probably you will be committing mistake in that question only so avoid that question move on to the next question right this is the second important thing third important thing which i wanted to say is about exam time during exam time when you are going for you know uh, uh, writing your exam so that time also you should be very careful that don't listen to the other people who are going along with you because some students or some people they say something knowingly or unknowingly i'm not saying that knowingly only knowingly or unknowingly they will be saying something which may create panic button into you are i have read harrison but i don't remember this line this kind of wording can create panic in you so avoid all that thing so try to try to be alone during the exam time when you are going for your exam and don't listen to anyone during exam time during the exam center when you are entering into the exam so that is how you can avoid the panic attack pan panic attack when you are going for your exam and some of the student they have message that they are feeling so much of exhaustion while studying this is very natural that you will be feeling very exhausted because the time this actually this summer is very hot and it's very difficult to study and sustain in this kind of heat and and the second most important thing is the burden of the 19 subject and this much of fierce competition for the neat pg exam itself is a very big you know uh, heat for us so what i will say that whenever you have this kind of exhaustion i will tell you take a rest for half an hour close your eyes that rest is not for instagram so remember close your eyes meditate meditate or have deep breathing or just don't think about anything don't think about anything not even about your exam just think about the zero in your mind and give yourself rest your target is to achieve rest for next half an hour so that you can prepare for your next battle suppose even after that you feel exhaustion so again i will recommend that you go for another half an hour of the rest 
but you don't you don't skip from your studies don't go away don't start roaming here and there don't watch tv don't watch social medias or don't waste your time in unnecessary act this is what i wanted to say that so i am telling you you all are very bright student you all know about it don't forget about your capacity right you all are very good and in exam time you will be able to recall each and everything so what i will say that whatever grand test is upcoming you want to write that you attempt that grand test and and apply all these things go to the exam with a balanced mind don't get deterred by seeing the tougher questions be confident there will be some 5 to 10% tough question but this is not going to spoil your exam if you are determined to do well in your exam right and at any cost don't allow your mind to become exhausted see some i'll tell you i'm not saying everything is because of heat and the uh, you know uh, pressure of the exam or pressure of the 19 subject sometime sometime it is our mind itself is suffocating us right so that is what you have to convince your mind that you are strong from inside and you will come up so that is what i wanted to tell you and i wish that all of you are going to have a very great future and great success in your life also